Okay, we're going straight in on this. So I really don't like this Jack skin because there's too much in the way. Like, it's just, I don't like big characters with lots of, like, shoulder stuff and, like, you can't, because also he's just, he does this. Visually, it's a lot of stuff to try and, like, work out what the hitbox is, you know? Yeah. Spamming the rage up. Great. To be honest, I just want this guy off my screen, so I'm just, like... Fight. I'm just doing whatever works. Cheap shit, dumb shit. Seriously. You know... Like, Jack's one of those characters where people say, oh yeah, like, Jack's an important character, but, like, I played him a bit on the original Tekken bag, and I, I never really got on with him, and I don't really know anyone who ever means him. But there must be someone, right? This, <laughs> this hits, but because he's on the ground, it <laughs> obviously can't pick him up. Uh, some bad plays, like for me there with the drop kick. Now, the good thing about King is while he is a throw character, he does have some quite versatile, like, uh, striking moves, which makes it, and he's quite fast. So, you can do quite a lot with his kicks, and they've got some good range and speed. However, they do get interrupted sometimes because there's a lot of startup for some of them. Yeah, just a lot of clutter here because like we did with the arcade mode with Farkum Ram. You, uh, it's not very difficult. It's a bit boring, but now we have to do a lot of this test your luck shit. <laughs> Double damage here. If you're wondering why I'm wrecking. <laughs> Possibly the fastest Round match two. in the history. Fight. That was my fault. I'm doing a lot of like fancy, I want to do the drop kick, I want to do the, the press, you know, like. And it's just costing me matches a lot of the time like this. I'm like, I want to do the cool shit. Let me do the complicated throws. Yeah, I like doing that. The, the knock and catch kind of thing. Perfect. And that's a good finish. Just going straight in with a rapid punch to the head there is a pretty good way to end the fight with King if they've got a little bit of health left. It's just like, just go in and fucking get the last bit off, you know? Slow load time still better than what I was dealing with while I was testing out Street Fighter V. I basically resigned myself to not doing Street Fighter V content. Like a full five minutes between a rematch with sponsors in between. Just forget it. Fight. Let's get this Heihachi skin. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what a weird choice. Every time I whiff that shit, you know, I'm always like, I really want to hit that drop kick. It's a good move when it hits. It just, yeah, <laughs> I, that's a staple. <laughs> that's a staple for me. I'm like, yeah, I like doing that. Oh, Ooh. and this won't land because fuck the AI sometimes. You're gonna rage out, I'm gonna rage out because you reminded me exists. Come on, win it back. Yeah, break his legs. Break this old man's legs. Again, I really gotta stop with the drop kick, it's whiffed every time. Yeah. That weird spinning jump hit beat thing that I just did there, that's... Sometimes it catches the AI off guard because it's not something I regularly use. 
that lariat, man. Really pretty lariat, really good hit, but like never lands when you want it to. Fuck you, old man. Oh, he got, he's angry. I can bring it back. Oh yeah, finally the drop kick lands. Now I do know all of his complicated throws. I however cannot always remember the extension button combination. I have it written down on paper and I put it next to me when I'm gaming normally. But for this, I didn't have the book out. So you know the flow chart for his like going in from one thing to another and just going from this to Boston Crab to this, that, and the other. I know that stuff, but I have to remind myself sometimes. And it often means that I fuck up the combos to get the extension. But like I do know all of the basics, like the giant swing and shit like that, so. And the muscle busters and things. And I'm trying to get them out in this, but I'm really focused on not throwing matches, trying to like Especially with Eddie Gordo. Eddie Gordo is a bad matchup for King unless you remember how to do all of the when they're in duck mode. When they're ducking or on the ground, technically, how to pick them up off of the ground. And that's like rarely used in comparison to approach standing person for King. There's separate inputs for picking a guy up off of the ground. Now that I've thrown him standing, he will probably try and duck everything else out for the rest of this. So I can't reliably get the throw from crouching. What the fuck is this? <laughs> like, fuck you, Eddie. <laughs> Point to the stands. The stands of trees and tree-dwelling dwelling creatures. That was pretty clutch. <laughs> Final round. Fight. Go straight into the handstand there, that was not great. I don't mind Eddie Gordo, he's a fun character to play, but it's like... Uh, I was never a huge mark for Capoeira. I liked the idea of the martial art more than like... You know, I wouldn't be able to perform it. There's actually a place near me where a Brazilian guy teaches capoeira in China, of all places. Uh, but And he's always like, oh, you like martial arts, you should come down. You do jujitsu sometimes. Like, stop doing jujitsu too. And I'm always sat there like, I can't do capoeira. I can't even do a fucking roll. <laughs> like, I can't forward roll. How am I supposed to do all the shit you guys are doing? Uh, anyway, here's special match. This is also pretty good for breaking it up. They actually throw special matches in here. So it makes it actually more feature laden, I would say, than the arcade mode. <laughs> Round one. You know, whatever you gotta do fight. to like fight the AI a little bit. Because my internet sucks. Again, the whiff there. Although, I have to admit, I don't like fighting Kazumi in this form. It's like. Yay, a character with unblockables that are really hard to knock her out of, and uh, she has weird tiger combos. Fight. Like, I just don't like the whole, like, anything that has easily accessible laser beam super. Like, I used to play it when I was a teenager, because it's like, oh, Devil Jin's so cool, and it's like, yeah, but it feels busted as fuck when you can just spam out shit, like, fly into the laser beam and the, you know, actual legitimate, like, characters cannot get a fucking move. Look, she's just pulling. <laughs> I knock her health down and she just pulls into 10 hit shit. I'm lucky this landed. The moment you get these AI below a certain health thing, they just pull out flawless 10 hits on your ass and you've just got to be ready. Every time that whiffs. Great. <laughs> Just do the same move again and again. Oh, really? A third time. She's such a... Just... Just... Yeah, let me kick you. I don't actually know what her... Uh... Yeah. Thrown like a punk. I don't know what her rage art looks like. Is 
Is there a Kasumi main? There's got to be Kasumi mains, right? Didn't really appeal to me that much. I always preferred June. Ah, uh, so yeah, prepare for some more Tekken and Dragon Ball Fighter Z stuff as I play it, because that's really what I'm getting into at the moment. That and Virgil DLC. Round one. And Red Dead, but I'm not I'm not showing that on the channel. <laughs> myself fishing. Because all I do is fish in that game and hunt and play poker. Anyway, watch me fight the King AI and the King AI perfect. gets perfect. <laughs> fight. To be fair, when I was with my friend in my friend's house in the UK and I was on his PC version of this, I went online on his really good internet and fighting other guys and a lot of king mains I was just like wrecking with my stupid dank ass king. But then one guy pulled out some like shit I'd never seen before with king and I was like oh my god there's still so much to learn with this character. There's a lot of shit going on with king and I like that. So that was a short match. Like a really short match. That's juicy. I got this. Round one. Fight. Now I like playing as Josie. I'm gonna do some Josie stuff later. <laughs> the old leg kick combo. <laughs> I don't like relying on it. It feels just kind of lame. But, you know, if it works. See, if I just went for a punch there, I would have finished the match because you wall bounced, but I said I tried to do a fancy kick that whiffed. Fight. I'm, this is more a learning thing than anything for me. <laughs> I need to play more King, really. It's been a while. There's throws. That basic throw comes out real quick, so I use it a lot just to, like... Get some breathing space. <laughs> Swung. You win. I am now a mentor of pain. <laughs> <laughs> Got the dollar dollar bills. Got the sweet rave music as well. I always used to like that. In Tekken Tag 2, you have that boat, the rave boat, where all these fish are coming and there's just sick-ass rave music playing throughout the hole. This one's got the rave helipad and the rave suit. Yeah, fish. Oh! I talk smack too early. Round two. Fight. You see, I rely a lot on that fast hitting, like, punch combo there. I mean, it works. This also works. <laughs> that does not work. Frankensteiner rarely works, but when it works, you're like, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. You knew it was coming the moment he went in the air. <laughs> You notice that I don't really do the 10 hit very often and I don't really like do the more advanced stuff. I, I, I need to get back into that. I think later in this, if it recorded the length that I thought it did, I do some pretty neat stuff. Let's just watch this. I like playing Horong as well. Yeah that can go into stuff and I was mashing the buttons and I was like oh, oh I pressed the wrong button oh well oh that was a very savage kick there oh nice headbutt that was the wrong button <laughs> to press at that point I went for a throw that left me open for like three kicks to the face 
<laughs> yeah, that's what happens. Don't rely too heavily on the Rage Art. It's not an instant match finisher. And it leaves you wide open if you miss. Also, it feels cheap as all hell. The Kuma's ones are most cheap because it's like the point... The whole point of the Raging Demon is that it's not just a button. If the Raging Demon is a button, you've just made the game way too easy. Press R1 for a Raging Demon. Yeah! <laughs> it just continues. Because he continued on me. The disrespect must be rep repaid. He fainted because I backed off. Every time that whiffs. Yeah, counter throw. I was really happy I got that out. I rarely get that to work against the AI because my timing isn't great, but like. <laughs> might have got me the match. Oh, might have got me the match. <laughs> I rely on this too much. I may turn off Rage Arts to improve my game because a lot of the time it's just my, nah, fuck this, I'm winning, but <laughs> like. Well, there's only so many times you can see the same series of moves as well before you're like, I need to just focus up. So that my favorite throw move is the Muscle Buster, but it doesn't come out very often. And the other one I really like is the Tier 1 a tri uh, Twister. Get ready for anxiety mode. <laughs> KO. Dead. Round two. Fight. Oh. I was hoping because it's faster I could get this Lariat out, but it just leaves me open and against the wall now. Glad I can do anything. <laughs> that was my fault though. I ran into the wall literally, so. Yeah! Whenever the drop kick comes in, I'm like, yeah, finally. <laughs> Ooh, I got ugly pants. If I'm not mistaken, it changes now. It changes background. So I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna lab some more King stuff and try and get those button presses like just in my muscle memory so I can show off the, just the endless like picking him up and throwing him around the screen. For the whole health bar. Round one. Fight. Strange crate bar got choice is strange. No. <laughs> I got out. Still fucked up the button presses. It's because I'm pressing square X, uh, X circle, X circle, and then. Perfect. Now perfect again. And square triangle when it's actually like two square triangles. So that's my fault. I don't remember what I did. There. Yeah. Leg breaker. <laughs> I was just trying some shit there that I forgot it doesn't come out instantly <laughs> and it just means I did a little dance. Ah. I missed because I was on the ground. Yeah. I'm a hawk, motherfucker. You win. Yeah. So yeah, it's been a while since I played King, which is why this is kind of like semi-scrubby. <laughs> I need to get more into it. I'm a bit wrapped up with pretending I'm a cowboy in Red Dead at the moment. Uh, should get back into this, really. I've got a lot of video games. I bought a load at the end of year sale and like... I mean, booted up half of them. Round one. It's Elisa. I don't like her as Elisa. 
I'm interrupting a lot of her shit here, <laughs> which is normal. Tomahawked. Once you get that out once or twice from running, you start to realize that that's quite the way. But like, I'm not very often at running distance. And when I am, I'm a bit like, oh shit, what do I do? Yeah, Frankenstein. You notice that uh, jump kick that I do when I spin, I use a lot because it comes out quickly, it does it knocks them back, uh, it does a decent amount of damage, it gives you some space to breathe. Did I just get Joker face paint for Dragonov? Weird fact, the first time I uh, played Tekken 5 Dark Resurrection, the first character I played was Dragonov. Round one. Fight. Now, if I remember rightly, I fuck up real bad on this guy. Maybe it was this guy. Yeah, Muscle Buster. I, I forgot I got that one in. Now you want to talk about Rage Arts, Marduk's Rage Art can get you down to zero from almost half health as you're going to see here. That is a stupid amount of damage. And it's just like trade a Rage Art for a Rage Art. This is like half of the match is just us trading these stupid supers, so yeah. I did that. I was actually going for something else, but like I went for the ultimate tackle at a long range. <coughs> it's a lot of like slugging each other for this match because uh, I. Like, Craig, Craig Mardux is a pretty easy character to learn. He was pretty good fun when I picked him up, and I found it very easy for me to learn his shit because there's a lot less technical stuff going on. There's some. And once you learn like that stuff, it's pretty easy to fight with him. But like, I just I just can't find him as fun, you know? Just not as fun. Um, I always used to play him in Dark Resurrection, and actually, he's got a lot of the same stuff he had there. Round one. Fight. Got the amount of hours I put into the PSP version of Tekken Five. Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I hope you like this one. Round two. Fight. Yeah. Again, I fucked it up. Yeah, do you want to twist a bitch? Yeah. <laughs> Like, I spent half of this match, of this round just throwing the guy. <laughs> yeah, giant swing! <laughs> that giant swing does a lot of damage, but it's a hard input, and it's very easy to fuck up, so... Getting a Tijuana Twister and a giant swing in on the same round, man. After already doing an aerial leg breaker. <laughs> I forget what that one's called. It's like a leg. A cross face? No. Ah, no, it doesn't matter. But yeah. <clears throat> that's, that's what some king stuff can do. It can get even more high level than that because that's barely even scratching the surface where you just. I'm gonna bury you! Oh, yeah. Round one. They keep throwing this guy against me. This is around the time I quit, because I normally only play until I lose, so sorry for ruining this match, but you get to see some of stuff. I was also getting a bit bored by now. I will 
Yeah. It goes from I'm winning to literally Craig just hitting me again and again. And then just rage arting me to oblivion. And I'm like, are you serious? He had like two hits of health left. <laughs> I thought I had this in the bag. Never get cocky in Tekken. <laughs> I don't know why I went for that throw, just to disorient. Actually puts me at a disadvantage because I normally play on the left hand side, so that was actually a bad, bad call. Ah, uh, oh, fuck, I never see that throw from him. Yeah.